Hello friends, I am Dr. Manish Soni and today we will be discussing structure of nails and hair. So if you see the structure of nail, these nail appear something like this okay now we generally see a hemicircular area in the proximal part of the nail so this hemicircular area which is the white portion present in the proximal part of the nail this is known as Lunula. and this visible portion of the nail this is nail plate now just behind the lunula is a very thin rim of skin attached to the nail plate cuticle this is known as cuticle and behind cuticle starts the proximal nail fold so this is proximal nail fold now on either side of the nail plate you will find lateral nail folds similarly on this side this is lateral nail fold so these are the nail folds this is the proximal nail fold while on either side are the lateral nail folds okay now if you see the transverse section of the nail the transverse section of the nail appears something like this So this is the transverse section of the nail and in this nail this we have already discussed is nail plate and below the nail plate is nail bed. So this is nail bed. Now behind it is the nail matrix. So this is nail matrix. Now this junction of skin and nail plate is hyponychia while this junction is aponychia. So this proximal junction of skin and nail plate is aponychia or aponychium while this distal junction is hyponychium so this is the structure of nail as you can see the in the transverse section you can see clearly the nail plate below it is the nail bed and behind them is the nail matrix now if you see hair follicle the hair follicle appears something like this and in this hair follicle the tip is known as ostium while in the root of the hair follicle there is opening of the sebaceous gland so this is the sebaceous gland and below the opening there is attachment of erector pili muscle so there is attachment of erector pili muscle and then there is a bulge area so this bulge area of the hair root is known as adamson's fringe adamson's fringe so you can see that there is tip that is ostium then there is opening of sebaceous gland 
then there is attachment of erectopeli muscle then there is adamson's fringe and this is the base of the hair follicle so depending on these structures you can divide hair follicle into four components the first component that is in between ostium and the opening of sebaceous gland so this portion that is in between the ostium tip and the opening of sebaceous gland is known as infundibulum so this is infundibulum portion then this is small portion in between the opening of the sebaceous gland and the attachment of the erectopeli muscle this is isthmus This is isthmus. Isthmus portion. And in between the attachment of erectopeli muscle and the Adamson's fringe is the stem portion. And this lower dilated portion in between the Adamson's fringe and the base of the hair follicle is the bulb portion so you can see that this hair follicle can be divided into infundibulum isthmus stem and bulb so thank you very much so today we have discussed the structure of nail and hair follicle see you back soon thank you